ProRes is a compressed RAW format that's developed by Apple, and it combines the flexibility of RAW video with the efficiency and the performance of the ProRes codec family. So there's two versions. We've got ProRes RAW and we've got ProRes RAW HQ, which obviously stands for high quality. The HQ version uses less compression and it results in higher data rates and better quality, but you're going to get larger files. So the main camera can record ProRes RAW in 4K up to 120 frames per second, but the ultra wide and telephoto cameras max out at 60 frames per second for ProRes RAW. And the selfie and the digital crop lenses cannot record in ProRes RAW. So we're talking the two times and the eight times. Recording in ProRes RAW disables image stabilization. So you're going to have to use a tripod or a gimbal if you want to avoid any kind of shaky footage. Now, ProRes RAW on the iPhone gives you great control in post. So it's going to make it easier to maximize the dynamic range, even if the sensor itself hasn't changed all that much. And this is also going to be useful for mixing iPhone footage with footage from other cameras. 